Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? But uh, extreme weather conditions have broke out across America, and it's really getting weird, okay? High record temperatures of heat in California, miserable winds and surfs crashing into San Diego, and then blizzard conditions of cataclysmic concerns across the middle, the plains in the Midwest and the East Coast. What does it all mean in these last days? Get a cup of coffee, everybody. Calm down. But uh, it's getting ugly out there. What? Are you serious? Well, I am. And let me just tell you, first of all, let me a quick shout out if I could for thecoldkiller.com. www.thecoldkiller.com. Everybody needs those little space heaters. And thecoldkiller.com is the best one I've ever seen, guys. Unbelievable how quickly it can heat up a, uh, your office or bedroom or some small area where you just need a little bit of take the chill off. And it's safe because right now studies on space heaters have reported that there's been about 50% of all home fires are caused by space heaters. 86% of people who die in a fire is for faulty, unsafe space heaters. Well, it's time to change that. Protect yourself, take the chill off, and get warm with The Cold Killer. It's www.thecoldkiller.com. That's www.thecoldkiller.com. All right, guys, uh, you'll be glad you did that. And let me tell you what's going on. There is incredible weather out there. California sees record uh, high temperatures. The Midwest deals with blizzard conditions. It's insane. That's extreme weather conditions that's been going on all around the United States of America. Matter of fact, uh, the summer weather made a winter appearance in Southern California, where they yesterday they had record high, 94 degrees in, uh, in Camp Pendleton there in California. Uh, and it also, it was 88 degrees in Los Angeles. What? Yes, uh, the previous record was 85 ever on that date. And the National Weather Service said San Diego hit an all-time January high of 94 degrees and 16 records of heat uh, fell for the border uh, from the border of Mexico all the way to Orange County. The culprit is high-pressure system off the coast that's welcoming offshore winds, insane winds, crashing into the piers. There in San Diego, California, you saw it on the thumbnail, the large waves, uh, in, unbelievable. But while this is, and the Santa Ana winds have been incredible, uh, which then met the surf with waves of 20 feet high. And uh, today they're going to be even higher. It's so dangerous. Don't go out there. I know you're tempted with the surfboard. Come on now, surfer man. Don't do it. Don't do it, my brother. And uh, let me tell you what else is happening, though. Uh, meanwhile, critical fire weather conditions are being forecasted for Los Angeles today. If somebody, if a fire breaks out, it would be of catastrophic conclusion to Los Angeles. Pray it doesn't happen. While this is going on, though, the, the, uh, by Monday, a high pressure is expected to move across the West and cooler conditions will prevail. But right now in the Midwest, it's insane. Uh, yesterday, vehicles traveling along I-80, Interstate 80, uh, semis, jackknife everywhere, cars in the ditch, people running off the road in Nebraska. It was incredible. And these blizzard conditions, whiteout conditions, just like I said was going to happen, impacted Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, Missouri. And then as it, the storm moved on in, producing some light snow for the Midwest and the lower Great Lakes and the Mid-Atlantic and even parts of the Southeast, uh, over the weekend, so you can expect some extreme weather conditions across America from high winds and high heat in San Diego and LA and the Santa Ana winds, and hopefully, no fire and, and uh, until blizzard conditions in the plains and the Midwest and the East. I've seen fire and I've seen rain, I've seen lonely days I thought would never end. I've seen extreme weather conditions, they don't feel like my friend, but I never thought I'd see time come to an end. Give your life to Jesus Christ, we're running out of time.